hello everyone welcome to my other video and in this video i'll show you how to uh, push your data into firebase database so at first uh, you should uh, start your android project uh, inside android studio i am naming the android project as test db and also changing the uh, company domain name as test db dot app dot com and you have to write here or uh, in all small letter and click next and choose empty activity and then next and click on finish and wait for some time your project will be loaded automatically so you can see that your project has been loaded automatically and uh, now you have to go to your layout that is the activity main xml file that is your design layout file uh, so i am first uh, deleting this text view uh, because it will no longer needed here and changing also the uh, layout to linear layout so inside the linear layout i am declaring an edit text and declaring the layout width and height as match parent and wrap content respectively so uh, i'm giving the hint as enter some text here and finally i am giving the id as edit text So now I will need a button here. So I am declaring a button tag and declaring the layout width as match parent and height as wrap content. And the text will be uh, just like uh, submit. Okay. So now uh, here I have to declare the orientation because I am using the linear layout. So I am choosing the orientation as vertical and uh, also i'm choosing the gravity linear layout uh, gravity layout gravity as center and also the uh, normal gravity as also center and uh, now i'm going to declare the padding so here the padding that is 50 dp so now everything is done for the front end and now uh, I'm going to uh, connect my application to Firebase. So uh, before that, just give the ID name to button. And so now I'm going to connect the application to Firebase. So go to your tools option and click on the Firebase. And uh, wait for some time. And in the right side, you can see that an assistant tab is there just click on that uh, if it is not opened automatically and click on the real-time database and click on that blue link that is save and retrieve data from firebase so now click on the connect to firebase and you should have a gmail account uh, to proceed and create a gmail account if you don't have and after logging in into your gmail account click on the allow button and wait for some time click on the firebase because you are using firebase and make sure that you have selected create new project and you may rename your project i'm just keeping as it is and click on the connect to firebase and just wait for some time because it will take some time depending on your internet speed and also the ram size so just uh, now you can see that the Connected is sitting there. Now you have to click on the add the real time database to your application and it will add all the Gradle files, all the dependency files into your Android Studio. So wait for some time and it will also show you that the dependency is set up correctly. You can see it is sitting there. Now you have to open your browser again and click on the get started option and this page will be opened automatically after those things and uh, after scroll down and you will see your project name is there that is test dv for me and here at the left side you can see all the tabs is there including authentication database storage so now you have to select database tab and just choose the real-time database because i am going to create in real-time database and click on start in test mode and click on enable and 
you can see oh here it is and one warning should be there because it is public or oh, because anyone can uh, read or write your data from here and so for uh, primary level that is okay so now go to your main activity dot java and now your main things will begin and and okay now here i have just uh, created one button and one text view so i am declaring the button variable name as b and a text as et okay and if you face the red problem just click on that line and press alt and enter from keyboard and the problem will be solved automatically and now just uh, cast it into your button text that is b equals to button and then find view by id and then add dot id dot your id name what you have just given right now in your front end and you can see that i have given uh, the button as my id so i'm declaring it as button and also now i'm going to cast my edit text to et so inside bracket i will write edit text and then find view by id and then add dot id dot my id name and i have given the id name as edit text i am showing you that you can see that i am given i have given the id as edit text so now i am uh, declaring the string is and i uh, am um, i'm going to assign the text what you will enter in your edit text to that string so for this you have to write et dot to string and uh, okay and now here i have to declare the database reference names variables so just write database reference space root reference and then other reference is required for accessing the child that is demo reference and now uh, just uh, write et dot get text because it will uh, get text from the edit text and then dot to string okay so uh, now i will check uh, okay now everything is done and uh, now just write root reference equals to firebase and firebase i think firebase database okay firebase database uh, dot get instance okay and then dot get reference and it will uh, select the primary reference of firebase that you are want to access and then uh, write demo ref equals to root ref dot child and inside the child just uh, write any of your name that like uh, user or id or something okay so now and uh, so you can see that i have declared the button as b so i'm declaring the button b dot set on click listener and then creating a object that is new view dot on click listener and overwriting the on click method and inside the on click method i am writing the demo reference dot push dot set value and i am setting the value as uh, you can see that i have declared the string name that is s and just close it and you can see now everything is done i think and okay so now i'm going to run this project inside my phone and you can see here is my phone and if you install the apk in your phone you will see this kind of screen and i'm going to write some text here and retain my first text and click on submit button and whenever you click on the submit button and i'm now 
taking you to my computer again so here it is and check whether the data has been pushed or not just click on the open your browser again and now you can see that your text has been pushed successfully and my first text is written there and it is inserted is successful so that's the everything and hope you have enjoyed this video please click on the subscribe and like button if you like this video and yes uh, i will upload this tutorial on my github link and please click on the uh, github link that i have described below and if if you are a football fan don't forget to subscribe the daily fcb channel the link is given inside my description section